Okay, well this is part two. Uh, this might go over a few parts, uh, you know, a few few videos, but you'd probably rather see more than less rather than trying to cram it into 10 minutes. All right, now, if you, any of you guys out there are like me, you're gonna need one of these leads. Um, now, I haven't got uh, a high def projector, not yet. Um, I'm hoping in the next couple of months to get one. But for now, with that Western Digital box, you're gonna need one of these leads, I'll give you a closer look. Because in the back, right, you got the, the Y and the, the different colors output here, which is just a little plug there, which is just one of these, plugs in there. And you've got your colors on the other end, your, your blue, your green, and your red. And that's for uh, if you're running um, component. You can run video, the video looks crap. Uh, S video, just a little better. You've got component, which is much better. And of course HDMI, which is a hell of a lot better, but I don't have HDMI in the projector as of yet. Uh, I thought I had enough, I don't. I just sent a rate for down the street. And I grabbed a bunch of uh, Ethernet cables, because I, uh, I need to fix two in the other room, and just some short one meter ones to run up there for uh, the Xbox projector, TV, all that sort of fun stuff. All right, let's go have a look at, um, what we're plugging in. Okay, what I've done, I've plugged these into power, the Western Digital and the uh, near the Ethernet uh, system thingy, what's it? All right, now what I've got to do is the line that's coming out of the uh, Xbox going to the TV, you know, the leads. Uh, I just need to use one of these plugs because I've got the, light, the leads running into a switcher box because what I was using was out of here, the switcher box was going from the TV over to the projector. Well, I don't need to use that anymore. Um, so what I'm going to do, rather than pulling all the friggin' leads out and all that sort of thing, I'm going to use one of these and connect it, which is just a, a triple, you know, one of those things to connect the, your leads together. These are better than having single ones because it keeps it all together. So I'm going to grab that. Oh, here's the HDMI lead for to go to the amp for all your digital sound. And that is the Ethernet cable that's running through the roof down the wall so I'll plug that that'll end up getting plugged into this and I'll have me two lines running out for the TV and for the projector so plug this in first okay I just realized uh, actually I still do need to use that switcher box uh, because of the Samsung blu-ray player uh, for watch that on TV or stuff from the Xbox I still need to be able to switch from the Xbox to the uh, Blu-ray player. I just had fun working out the component leads. I'm not running HDMI to the TV as of yet, because uh, uh, in a few months this whole room is going to be switched around, and uh, I'm going to be making um, alterations all over the place and running all HDMI then. I just started a movie now, just to make sure my components were plugged in correctly, because the switcher box is not meant for components. So, uh, just mucked around then. You plug in until you get a black and white. When you get a black and white, then you can work out which way you're going. I'll give you a look at the mess so far. Okay, here we go. I've still got to work on that yet. And that, right, that's the switcher box there. It's just a little switcher box. It takes three things, but I've got the, uh, the, the Samsung Blu-ray player in that. You got your output in the back there. I don't even know if you can see it for, uh, you probably can't, for going directly to the TV. And I'll be putting the Xbox, uh, this line here. Yeah, this line here into that end. Then I can work out hooking up to the projector. Okay guys, well, we'll switch it on and see if I hooked it up correctly. Just show you this, I've got the uh, keypad for the Xbox remote because there's so many multiple things on there with movies and TV shows. Rather, just have a bit of a look. Rather than scrolling through, so I go on TV shows that I want The Simpsons, I just got to push SI, it'll go across, and I'll go straight to The Simpsons. All right, well, let's turn the Xbox on. I've already switched it over on the, uh, the switcher box. Okay. All right, now we've got nothing. So now I'm gonna go back and see, uh, remember what I was saying about drinking the scotch in the last video? Uh, I'll go back and see what leads I've plugged in wrong somewhere. So back in a sec. Okay, well as you can see, it's on. 
Uh, I didn't get any leads wrong. I remember I said that there was three switches on that box. Well, I had it in the middle switch. This is why I was getting no signal. Okay, uh, I'll give you a bit of a look at this. Actually, when it comes to... Oh, hang on. When it comes to uh, the keypad. I'll just go into uh, the movies and stuff. Oh, and with the audio, the audio still doesn't go through the TV. The audio goes through that surround system. So it should come up uh, now, and I'm just running that through uh, an optical lead. I said not running HDMI with that yet. The HDMI lead is running to the uh, to the Pioneer amp. Okay, I'm just aware. Amazing how you forget things. The uh, Ethernet lead, remember, I pulled it out. So it's, it's not going to be connected to uh, the hard drives. So uh, why don't we plug it in, then we'll have a look. Okay, guys. All right. Now I don't need it short ones, right? Now I've got the, uh, the Ethernet lead coming out of the uh, Xbox. The Ethernet lead coming out of the, plugged in, the Western Digital Box. And there's the main information Ethernet lead there. And that's going to go to in on this box. As I said to you, I know nothing gets done simply. Everything's going to be bloody difficult. All right. So we go in here. We've got one there. Right, then we go out. So I'll go to number one. So got that plug there. Number two. There. Now I'll feed all this uh, in and hide it all. Oh, also, well, when I do that, it's all look neat and tidy when I'm done. I might as well do it now, actually. Just stay up there where. Or don't. Okay. So that's the Western Digital Box, so you got your power, the component leads, and the Ethernet lead. Now we just need to run the HDMI lead. So, of course it's around the other way. Right. Now the HDMI lead's plugged in. It's plugged in to go to the amp to give you uh, proper full digital sound. Now if you haven't seen my other videos before, you're wondering why, I mean, you probably can't see it, but up here I've got a, a big ass, uh, I'll give you a look, big ass Pioneer. Surrounds, it's the actual, it's the Elite Pioneer uh, home theater amp, and I've got the Blu-ray um, Samsung surround system. I've also got a Blu-ray player, actually, no, it's down there on the floor, I had to move it. I'll go through this again. Reason being, when I watch a movie on the projector, it goes through the real big system, through the big speakers, and the sound out of a plasma TV is crap. So, I use this surround system for when I'm watching TV. Keeping in mind, if you saw my other videos, when I bought the TV, this thing come free with the TV, which is why I've decided to just use it. All right, well, uh, I'll shove all this in. Let's just hope to, hope to God that it works. Okay, guys, it's all in there. Uh, I'm fairly confident everything is going to work. Uh, put it all, it's all been stuffed back in. Uh, so now what we'll do, we'll turn everything on. We'll turn the TV on, the projector. We'll make sure everything is running fine. But I'll uh, give you a look. I told you it'll look a lot better when it's all in there and all the cables are hidden in the back. Okay, so if you have a look, everything's all neat and tidy, all hidden away. There's the new stuff put in there. There's the amp and everything. So the only problem is uh, that's just sticking out a little bit because there's a, the power leads on the side, which is a pain. You'd think they would have put it in the back, but not everything works to plan all the time. Okay, I just turned the power on. I thought I'd show you this. That is indicating when it focuses in um, what uh, Ethernet or Ethernet, whatever, um, lines are plugged in, which at the moment we've got, I thought I'd put it in number one. I guess I didn't. Uh, it's number two and number eight, and the Western Digital thing is turned on. Okay, I'll lie. I'll just have another look. Another light's come on because I've just turned the Xbox on. So let's have a look. Beautiful, I said I've just turned it on and uh, we have a picture.